Hey Gravel Guru fans, we are here on a Saturday evening at my house about ready to depart. What are we doing, Ben? We're going down to the river. We're going down to the river. We are going to test out two different bivvies we've been supplied to try out. Have you ever used a bivvy before? Nope. Nope. Not at all. Neither have I. So uh, this should be an experience. We've got about, oh, maybe a five to ten mile ride is all to where we're going camping tonight. But we're uh, bike packing out there and it uh, should be an exciting time. Okay, everybody, we just rode out here. I think it was about an eight mile ride in from town. We're out here at my uh, family's farm area, just outside of Emporia. Uh, they've got a nice little camp spot here for us. Uh, so it's not really that rustic, but at the same point, there's not really many amenities, just kind of a little shelter house and a fire pit here. What are your plans for the night, Ben? Uh, we're gonna start a fire, start a stew, um, and then try to stay warm in a bivy. Two bivvies. Two there bivvies. are two bivvies. Yeah, two bivvies. I've got a bivy. Ben's got a bivy. We clear? Yeah, I think. Cool, so we're, uh, we're gonna get some firewood and get a fire started here real quick. How confident are you in your fire skills tonight? Pretty good. Ah, uh, man. One match, one, one go? Or one lighter, one go? What try is this? This is three, actually. When where there is smoke, There's a small amount of fire. Now it just have to wait for coals. That's bad. How long do we have to wait to put this Dutch oven on the fire? Uh, hopefully only like 20 minutes. I think we're gonna let this all cook down. I'm gonna take these two pieces of wood. And I'm gonna set them like this. Across the bed of coals? Yeah, and I'm gonna leave this trench here for aeration and fire, and then we'll sort of boil the stew on top of that. What are we making tonight? Uh, we're making some beef stew in a, in a Dutch oven. That was already out here at the cabin, right? Right, right. No, it uh, doesn't fit in the bag. Cast iron is primo, primo packing equipment. One giant pillow, Upper jacket, pants, bivy. This is the Solo Escape Pro, so it's going to be the one without the um, mosquito net, and we'll elaborate on that on, on that later. Sleeping pad and a sleeping bag liner. This guy's a stuff sack that goes up front. And a thermal, more winter clothes, and one sleeping bag. It's the first time I'm laying eyes on it as well. So here you have it, nice durable outer material. On the inside, here we have what looks to be a space blanket. <clears throat> and so what I did do is I went around on the ground and picked up all the little things that I thought would poke me, uh, hurt me, sticks, rocks, stuff like that. Uh, just quick disclaimer. What else goes into your sleeping system? Uh, what else goes into my sleeping system? I've never tried a bivy, so I don't know how this small inflatable pad is gonna work. Uh, and then I have what is um, a 30 degree sleeping bag, which is pretty standard, and then a sleeping bag liner. So here out of my Ove Negra seat bag, this is my entire sleep system in here. I've got another inflatable pad just like Ben. Uh, I think my bivy is just a touch bigger than his, so we'll see if I've got room for that. Then also in here, I just have a dry bag. This is just clothes, it's got some wool socks, it's got a wool base layer to put on here tonight, and also just some uh, like wind pants to wear, in case it's cold. And then the Outdoor Research Molecule Bivy. Okay, so this is probably one of the biggest differences between our two bivvies so far that we've noticed is 
Ben's is about half the size of mine, compacted up right here. Ben's the Outdoor Escape Pro from Survive Outdoors Longer, I believe is just over eight ounces, and mine from Outdoor Research is just over a pound. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread out mine real quick and uh, have a look at it. And pro probably, I would say, uh, if you're gonna do this, make sure you do a shakedown trip like this one right here. Me and Ben are only eight miles from town, so if we needed to, we could go back to town, but this is a good way before you get out there on a real overnight or multi-day trip with products just to check them out. Okay. So one thing I'll say is it looks a lot more complicated than Ben's. I've got zippers going on. So probably, honestly, the biggest difference here is this right here. Is Mine's got a bug net that goes over the face if you need to, but you can zip that down if you don't need it like tonight. I mean, we're, no, we're December in Kansas. Uh, there's not gonna be any bugs out here, I don't imagine. Um, That's pretty much the bivy right there. Then on the front of my bike, I can bring this over there if you need me to. Here on the front of the bike, I just have in here a, I believe what's called is a sleeping bag liner. Uh, this one's just one that I picked up on clearance this last week. Um, gonna try it out. What it is, is it's like a nylon outer layer with an inside fleece to go inside it. Uh, I also brought an inflatable pillow because I like a pillow. Welcome back to Cooking in the Dark with Gravel Guru. So what are we making tonight? We're making beef pot roast. So we got the meat, some powdered gravy mix, a little bit of celery, some carrots, potatoes, and an onion. Our meat to vegetable ratio is like 12 to 1, which well, is fine. It's Kansas. So, what do we have going on, Ben? We got the meat in it? Yeah, we got the meat and the gravy mix. We're gonna throw this on the fire for about a good 20 minutes. Let this cook up and chop up some vegetables. This is very stable. Mm -hmm. This is. Okay, hey Ben, eating the beef stew, what do you think? Oh, it's, uh, it's great. See you guys tomorrow. Okay, we're back morning of uh, our bike packing trip. Last night we camped out in our bivy shelters, Ben. Right here. What bivy did you rock? Uh, mine was the Soul Escape Pro. Uh, so these have a equivalent price points. Uh, this was the lighter of the two. A lot less material goes into this bivy. It's about half the size and half the weight. How did your night go with the bivy? Uh, this bivy overall seemed uh, seemed good. It didn't add as much warmth as I as I expected. So I got a little cold in the middle of the night and had to get up and stoke the fire. Um, as far as things that I thought about this bivy that were interesting is there's no face cover, um, and so. And it doesn't, you can cinch it down like a mummy bag, but there is no face cover like Matt, Matt's has a face cover. Um, so that does, you can't pull it up over your head, um, which is, I think, a little unfortunate. But other than that, this seemed to, to be pretty durable. It seemed to move around pretty well. Sleeping pad fit right into it. Um, really had no problems getting in and out of it or, you know, with the mechanics of the zipper or anything. So it's pretty straightforward. It works pretty much just like your normal sleeping bag. Okay, so last night with these bivvies, we didn't put anything on the ground. We put the bivvies strictly on the ground. Do you feel like 
your bivy would have held up to multiple nights use kind of on this type of grassy area right yeah i think this is um very substantial on it wear and tear would be minimal uh, if i was going to sleep on some rocks i'd probably put down another sheet um, and we could get a little bit warmer by laying down uh, a reflective space blanket or some sort of perspective okay. sleeping pad. Last night I rocked the Outdoor Research Molecule bivy. Um, it's a pretty good bivy. I really like the construction of it. I like the design. It's got kind of a two-part face shield. Is that what you call it? Yeah, yeah. You've got the mosquito net you can zip up, but you can also zip up and have the whole thing. And it's really just a sealed bag at that point. Um, I didn't sleep that great last night out here. I'm not going to blame that all on the bivy though. It was really, this is really my first time ever doing any winter camping. So there's a lot you learn just like your first time going out on a bike packing trip in the summer. You, you learn a lot about what you need to prepare. I think I could have brought some more base layers that would have helped with it. But my biggest problem, unlike Ben's, since I could seal it up, I didn't seal it up but I pulled it over my face because we had a full moon last night and it was blocking the light out. But the problem with that when we got in our bivvies was it immediately condensated on me in there and I started out the night wet with it every time it would hit your face. So that was my big problem but you know spring, fall, summer, I'm not sure that I'd be against using it again. Right and it's important to realize that you do have a tie out point on there and if you can keep that away from your face um, you may be able to avoid okay. some of those condensation issues which uh, quite frankly are uh, inevitable to a point. Oh yeah, and we've had condensation issues in our single person tents and mm -hmm. all of that before, but yes, there is a loop right above kind of where your face is in here that if you brought some paracord or something, you could tie it up to a branch to get it off the face. Or and, a ridge line or anything. So, you know, thanks for watching our video on uh, bikepacking and bivvies. Uh, stay tuned for more content. Camp in your backyard.